Despite my main review of the i7-8700K by Intel, I still get many questions and requests on doing a separate comparison between the i7-8700K and AMD's Ryzen 7 1700X. So here I am. Both these processors offer some immense performance, that's what we all can agree on, right? But in the end, which one's the right one for you? At the time of writing the script, the 8700K's availability is still scarce, but if you're lucky, you can get one for about 470 US dollars. The 1700X can be picked up for quite a bit less, 400 dollars. The main differences in terms of specs are the amount of cores. 6 cores and 12 threads on the 8700K and 8 cores and 16 threads on the 1700X by AMD. The 8700K Coffee Lake chip is clocked quite a bit higher, especially since it turbos at 4.3 GHz on all cores. Same TDP, unlocked multipliers, so both can be overclocked and in terms of cash, the 1700X is offering more. But how do the 8700K and 1700X fair. Let's find out. Let's start with rendering. This is probably my personal priority when it comes to CPUs. In Cinebench, as well as in a practical video rendering test in Vegas Pro 14, AMD's Ryzen 7 1700X is still taking the lead over the new Coffee Lake 8700K processor. Not by much, since Intel has clearly gained some speed there with those two extra cores compared to the previous Core i7 mainstream flagship model 7700K. But when simply overclocking the 8700K to something like 4.8 GHz, you immediately beat the 1700X's stock rendering performance, although not by much that is. And do keep in mind please, the Ryzen chip can be overclocked as well, which would then lead to a clear win on AMD side in rendering aspects. But I believe the majority of you guys are more into the gaming side of things. Well good news, Ryzen fares well there too, but Intel dominated there before with their 7700K KB Lake CPU and now with their new 8700K. This is where those 720p results come in handy. We do see quite the hefty difference there in most games, if not all. So right away, yes, theoretically the 8700K beats the 1700X in games by far. But hold on there, we do not play at 720p with high-end GPUs. So at 1080p, 1440p or even 2160p 4K, the gap is closing since our GPUs are the limiting factor. And that's very visible at 1080p even. Sure, the 1700X drops behind a little by a couple frames, but nothing really shocking. With the exception of GTA 5, that game seems to love Intel CPUs and AMD doesn't receive much love from that game. But other than that, the differences aren't what I'd consider a deal breaker, not even for gamers. So which processor should you go for now? Go for the 8700K if you want the absolute best gaming performance there is out there. It's also great 
for rendering and multitasking, although not quite as good as the Ryzen 7 1700X is at those multi-threaded workloads. If you mainly focus on rendering, streaming, image and video editing, as well as doing immense multitasking, the 1700X might be the better pick with its 8 cores. At the time of this video, right now, the 1700X costs about $70 less than the 8700K, so clearly the Ryzen processor wins in terms of price to performance ratio. But to be honest, you can't really go wrong with either of the two. What are your thoughts on this? And as always, thanks for watching.